So this is the lightning bugs that we have up in the northeast. So I figure I'd give you a kind of a close-up look at as to what they look like. Try to get it around without them flying away. That's what they look like up here. And I'm not sure what they look like down south, but I don't know. If yours looks different than this, uh, share your images and um, let me see what yours look like from other states or even other countries. Alright, so it is not totally night yet and we do have a full moon up here. Let me zoom you out. I was zoomed in, sorry. It's not totally night, but it's dark enough where the lightning bugs are coming out. <clears throat> and they are coming out by the masses. So there's several species of lightning bugs. And the species we got up north is the same species we have up north. Uh, down south, I think they have another species or they have both species. And I think if you go out west, there's actually another species. So I'm not 100% sure. But I don't know if the camera's picking it up, so I might just be talking into nothing. But the camera should be picking up all the lightning bugs. You should be able to see in the background all the spots flickering around. You see all those little spots? Those are lightning bugs. And I'm zoomed all the way out, by the way, so that's what those little flickerings are. Those are lightning bugs. And there's thousands upon thousands of them. So lightning bugs are good. There's actually um, there's actually a website that um, talks about saving the light bugs and stuff, the lightning bugs, and they talk about you know you want to try to encourage your population because they're really good bugs. They're predatorial type bugs, so they eat other bugs that are smaller, like gnats and those kind of things. So you really need lightning bugs by like more than what you see here. You need a lot more lightning bugs, and they will keep the gnats down. So, it's very lightning bugs are very good. So they're predate they're a predaceous bug, and you need them. They're one of the bugs that help control the other bugs. So they're very important in the environment. So if you have lightning bugs, I encourage you to do what you can to take care of them. There's ways of you can make nests and things for them, and they they go in there. But they hang out on my tomato plants a lot of times. I'm going to film it one day and I'll do a video about the lightning bugs. And I'll link you back to this video. And I'll show you what the physical lightning bug looks like up here. The ones we got up north. But they're very, very important insects for the environment. You definitely want to protect your lightning bugs. Yeah, you can see all those little flickering spots on the screen. It might look black because what I'm looking at is black right now. But you see all them little spots flickering around. Those are all lightning bugs, but a friggin' thousands of them. They're everywhere. It's weird. They're mostly by the trees, because they're eating, that's where the bugs go. All the, all the flies and gnats and all that, they all bury themselves in the grass and the trees and stuff, and they wait overnight. It gets cool at night, and so they go in there and they eat them all. <laughs> that's why you gotta love nature. So anyway, I'll when I catch one of the lightning bugs, I'll show you what our species looks like up north, and uh, and show you what they look like. I know there's different species because I have seen them myself. That every once in a while we do get some of the other species that come up here. Maybe they blow up from the south or something, but they're bigger and are and are uh, they're larger in shape and stuff. So, but anyway, I guess that's it. We'll. Uh, We'll see you on the next one. Like, share, and subscribe, and take care.